Hello, my awesome Cappies. I missed you. Cappies, I hope you're doing great wherever you are. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So first, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not, first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Cappies. Universe, please step in, show very clear and important messages for the sign of Capricorn, for Capricorn's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Capricorn in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Capricorn in their life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? I feel I need to shuffle more. You must please show us what's coming up for Capricorn in the life and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey. <clears throat> Oof, you have a lot of drama from other people showing up here. Hmm. Yeah, you're letting go of toxic people. Yeah, you recognize that there are some people in your life that no matter how much you try to be on peaceful grounds with them, you're not succeeding, that they have always drama and they always drain you. And this is you re realizing important truth about this situation and letting go, separating yourself from toxic, negative people who love drama. Yeah, you drained by some people. Some people drained you. This is you feeling like you need a long time from people and their drama. Yeah. This is you not communicating with your soulmate right now. You let them go, actually. They were very mean to you. Yeah. Whoever it is that you let them go of uh, was mean to you. Yeah. Hurt you deeply. You are protecting yourself from people. You don't want to deal with drama and chaos and craziness. No. You want peace in your life. Yeah. You are concentrating on yourself, your job, your business, your finances, your uh, independence, very important to you. Universe, please show us hmm. <clears throat> what's coming up for Cappies and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey? Oh my gosh. So this is powerful, showing up twice on top of each other. Five of Wands, Five of Wands from both tarot decks. So it's more than one area of your life. Maybe it's in a family and your work or soulmate and family. Uh, stay away from toxic people, people who are negative, nosy, who gossip, who love drama. Yes, yeah, stay away from that negativity because it's going to consume you, drain your energy and give you a headache on a daily basis. Yeah. I stay awake and clear of all toxic people. Toxic people do not belong in my life, including toxic gossiping neighbors. I stay away from them. Yeah. You don't need that bad energy in your life because it will consume you, drain you, and affect the way you work, the way you think, even the way you sleep. Yeah. Stay away from negative people. Don't let them drag you into the gossip circles. My goodness, you feel heartbroken, betrayed by your soulmate. Yeah. You said something to them that hurt them deeply, but because you told the truth that they didn't want to hear. Mm. They have a lot of emotional baggage from past relationships that they need to address, work on. Yeah. They hold on to a lot of anger, resentment. They do. They hold on to those negative emotions and it's not good. A lot of you are letting go of Aries, Aquarius, Sagittarius, and Leo. Universe, please show us. Yeah, my goodness. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Capis and how is Capricorn currently doing on their soulmate journey. New beginning showing up here for you in your life. So new year, new beginnings. I'm so happy for you. Yeah, justice will be served. Those people that betrayed you, wronged you, lied to you, cheated on you, stole from you, you name it, 
will have to deal with karma. Justice will be served. You don't need to seek justice or revenge or vengeance. No, justice will be served. Yeah, karma will be balanced. Mm -hmm. They're going to have to deal with consequences of their behavior. Somebody is trying to come back to you with apologies, peace offerings. You let them go. Yeah, the tower. This person was toxic in your life and you let them go. This shows me, however, that you are meeting someone of quality, new, some kind of emotional offer coming towards you, emotional gesture. Yeah. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Good for you, Cappies. Absolutely. Don't sit at home. Even if you don't want to meet new people, that's fine. Spend time in nature. Nature is very healing. I spend time in nature every single day uh, because uh, there are so many toxic people out there. I avoid toxicity. Yeah, I don't need that drama in my life. I'd rather be alone than be around dramatic people with constant chaos and craziness. You know, please show us what's coming up for Cappies and how is Capricorn currently doing yeah, this is you trying to make wise financial decisions for yourself, checking up on your spending, uh, your income, your job, investments. Yeah, justice will be served. It looks like you balanced your karma with those toxic people. The only thing you need to do is release them with forgiveness. Yeah, yes, you staying. Yeah, you're protecting yourself. This is you protecting yourself emotionally, standing up for yourself. If you've been feeling sick or low on energy or drained, this is you taking time to yourself to feel better, to recover, whether it's sadness, depression, low energy level, or sickness, like physical illness. This is you taking proper steps to make yourself feel better. Hmm. Wow, interesting. Let's see what's going on with that soulmate of yours. The universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Cappies that Cappies is letting go of. And how's that soulmate of Cappies towards Cappies at this time? Especially emotionally. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Cappies? And how's that soulmate of Cappies towards Cappies at this time? Especially emotionally. Ooh, they're missing you a lot. This is them reminiscing of you, thinking of you, missing you, wanting a reunion with you. Very emotional towards you when they think about you. Ooh, they're so upset, heartbroken, devastated over losing you. This person has a lot of drama in their life that they need to fix. They need to resolve. They need to work on, address in their life. Hmm. They love you a lot. A lot of love for you. You let them go, though. They feel that you let them go. This person loves you a lot. And it's really weighing heavily on them to have such deep, intense emotions like they have for you and not be able to be with you or express them or tell you how they feel. A lot of you are letting go of um, the sign of cancer as well. Cancer again. This person is trying to balance their emotions. They feel waves of emotions at the same time. So they feel love. They feel joy. They feel heartbreak. They feel sadness, regret. Let's see their subconscious position. They want to see you so badly. This means reunion, spending quality time together. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of cappies and how's the soulmate of cappies so it's cappies at this time especially emotionally the sign of cancer is showing up three times one two three some of you are dealing with the sign of cancer yeah they trying to look at this more objectively and figure out what to do next wow they want to fix the situation you see they made some serious mistakes with you and they regret them deeply see justice is being served so what they made you feel they feeling it if they made you feel heartbreak they feeling it if they made you feel sadness they feeling it depression they feeling it you see that's how it works karma you see so they feeling what they made you feel they love you a lot they're trying to figure out 
how you currently feel towards them emotionally, whether you love them, hate them, despise them, miss them. They don't know what to make of it. Again, apologies are showing up here. So this means making amends with you. Look how scared they are that it's over, that you're not going to let them come back or even listen to what they have to say. Look how much they love you. Yeah, they do. But this person doesn't really express emotions easily. They don't show emotional vulnerability like they should. Oh, you told them off. You sure did. Cappies, you cut them out of your life. You told them what time it is. Oh, yes, you did. You didn't sugarcoat. You were very honest, blunt, direct. Because when you were nice and patient, they ignored you. They disrespected you. They took you for granted. You had to stoop down to that level to finally be understood by them and heard by them. Look how distraught they are emotionally over losing you. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this is difficult for them to digest this, this disconnection from you, this breakup. They're not able to disconnect from you emotionally. No, but mm, you have the upper hand in this situation. You know, let show us. What's going on currently with that soulmate of Cappies? They're so worried you're going to be with somebody else. A new soulmate is entering your life. This is you meeting new soulmate, more than one, through some kind of social gatherings, parties, outings. So don't stay at home. Don't isolate yourself. Yeah, go to classy places. Stay away from trashy bars, though. Yeah, bars don't have good energy. Yeah, stay away from trashy bars. Go to uh, quality places where cultured people go. Yeah, you have too much to offer to be wasting yourself on bars and people who go to bars. Yeah, new soulmate entering your life. More than one new soulmate. The person that you're letting go of wants to disconnect emotionally, but they can't. They realize that what they feel for you is real love, not some kind of crush that's going to fade away after a few weeks or a few months. Yeah. See, they want to come towards you. They're very slow to action, though. They want to come towards you with some kind of solid offer. Mm, well, it's good to know they have good intentions. The question is, will they follow through with actions right we we can have good intentions but intentions are not going to fix the situation we have to follow through with consistent actions right yeah we're going to go into your extended reading obviously we're going to ask about this person but also new soulmate entering your life that just showed up as king of cups with three of cups so first we're going to ask about this soulmate however true long-term intentions and plans for you what are they planning long term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you whether purposely or can communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life <clears throat> the king of cups energy new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances business job opportunities family matters friendships whatever it is you need to know they'll show it at the end of the reading as well so cappies click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and i'll see you there love you guys